Well, those of you who are familiar with Ruger firearms and who have heard the name Kalo before may notice this as one of Ruger's distributor exclusive handguns. This is a GP100, and it's a gun that was essentially uh, specced out by no, none other than American rifleman uh, field editor Wiley Clapp, who's essentially one of the world's foremost authorities on uh, particularly combat handguns. So Wiley had some things that he wanted to do on this gun. It's a 357 Magnum, of course, Chambers 38 Special as well, and it's a three-inch barreled gun with essentially Novak-style combat sights. It has a fiber optic sight in the front here that's drift adjustable in a dovetail fitted into the top rib of the uh, barrel assembly. And in the back, of course, it's got the angled uh, combat style sight there. But the gun uh, doesn't stop there with features that are designed to make it fast out of the holster and, and quick on target. One of those is this particular grip that has rubber on the back strap, rubber in the front, encases the, the stub of the GP100 frame, but then has these inlet panels of stabilized wood that have textured, checkered fingerprint structure on the front of them. So very comfortable, very easy to shoot, and that's really important in a 357 Snubby. That's a, kind of a hard gun to shoot. It's really kind of a, an expert's gun to master when you have the heavier 158 grain loads that are full power loads. The other thing that's interesting about this particular gun is that the, the cylinder itself has actually been tapered so that it, it sort of aids getting in and out of a holster with less drag. So this particular gun is in a bead blasted stainless finish, but it's also available now in a blued finish. So with this Talo distributor exclusive, Ruger and Wiley Clapp have combined to really come up with a desirable, carryable 357 combat personal defense gun that has really nice features for the person who appreciates the wheel gun. For more reviews of firearms and shooting gear, check out the latest edition of American Rifleman the magazine 